Let's check in audio check. We are live. Let's check in audio check on stream. Can you guys see what's happening here? Twitch sounds good. Okay. Oh, and I messed that up already. It's everybody. No? How do I keep messing this up? Oh, what? I forgot the everyone. <laughs> what? Uh, you just missed the Y in the initial everyone. <laughs> Third times a charm. There we go. Get in here for Jeep Chat. I don't hear the the UI. Did I did I somehow mute the UI for Discord? As, as long as people can can hear everybody, that's fine. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Ember Chief Chat. Getting the energy up here. Boy, I tell you, it's it's been it's been a hard week so far. It's all left ear. Oh, I see that. Let me just let me see if I, if I can adjust the panning. Do, do, do. This, we're on a different machine today, so I don't. You know, this is the first time I'm getting this set up, and I would like to switch this to mono. Okay, there we go. Now we should be in mono. Now you, everyone should uh, let's do it. Let's do a quick round. Uh, this is sentence A. This is sentence B. This is sentence C. Awesome. We have audio up and running. Uh, someone just asked, "Am I going to play Super Robot Wars 30? I have not played the series. I am aware of the series. I do not play it, unfortunately. I hope it's good, though. There are a lot of fans out there for Super Robot Wars, especially in Japan. Isn't it like every mecha ever made all thrown together into one? Is it a fighting game? I don't even know what it is. It's like a 2D. At least the old ones were 2D. No, I haven't been keeping up with 14. I know the expansion is coming, and I am not not anywhere near completing the the main story up to that level. I finished I finished a Realm Reborn but not the patch quests. I'm currently grinding through the patch quests and I haven't had much time. How is everyone doing today? You had pizza? That's good. All right, I'm going to get right to it then. So we were originally were supposed to reveal the new skin because we have a monthly patron program where you get access to the builds and you get exclusive skins that are uh, guaranteed to be rare or higher. And we were supposed to reveal it for Tuesday with the dollar sub. But uh, uh, dollar sub was expiring on Tuesday rather because we were doing Marigold. And we were uh, going to switch to the new skin Tuesday, but we had some historic weather conditions in Northern California. I don't know if you heard about this, but there were like two different things. There was like a an equivalent of a hurricane as well as a combination of some sort of low pressure front that that never been seen before or something like that. Well, it knocked out the power for our artist who was doing this particular perk for this month and also uh, knocked down part of the fencing around the house and things like that and all that had to be attended to so I apologize for the delay and so we extended the Marigold promotion until today and we are unveiling unveiling is that is that where you reveal a cow we are unveiling the new skin all right it's actually not a skin I promise you this is a non waifu Halloween themed item you guys ready for this All right, 
here we go I am sharing it with you right now we have a new pet we have a brand new pet and I'm gonna read you the little blurb for it it's a snack that would go great if you had the snack lady skin but that's not all that's not all here let me uh, let me read you the little blurb for it real quick uh, okay are you guys ready so this is uh, it's got a complicated name that's that's part of the problem it's got a complicated name it's like uh, uh, it's, it's got a scientific name that I can't pronounce but I'll, I'll, there's a little quote text that goes with it and the quote text is this Recovered from trace elements of frozen ember DNA during ecological resurrection surveys, known to bond only to a single owner through a bite ritual. Some extremely rare variants. Oh, what did I say? What do you mean, extremely rare variants? Well, let me show you. Pets have gotten an upgrade. They are no longer merely pets of a single color. No, they have inherited the skin upgrade system. They will feature the same core, artisan grade, and peerless grade properties of player skins. And for the peerless grade, which is what you get with the monthly sub, you get this variant which is see-through with skeletal vertebrae visible all right now the rest of the description that i'm going to read is going to make sense some extremely rare variants have translucent skin and visible skeletal structures underneath the source of their levitation appears to be both a charged atmospheric phenomenon as well as the creature's ability to harness and ride the planet's magnetic fields. All right. So that implies a lot of things. There's actually a lot of little lore nuggets scattered throughout this that description. One is we talk about there is uh, there's there's the uh, ecological resurrection surveys so when the gate striders go in and terraform the planet they are looking for signs of native flora and fauna that were on that planet maybe millions of years ago when the planet had more habitable conditions and they are selectively resurrecting ones along with the local seeding process from their own DNA banks that they brought with them from their travels throughout space in order to seed uh, the new terraform zone. So as the zones terraform up, we would like them to get like a combination of native flora and fauna as well as stuff that the gate striders seed themselves. So that is a huge nugget of lore. The other one, of course, is that these things levitate, that there is something to the planet's magnetic field and atmosphere that allows them to do that. All right, so there's more. So let me let, 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 let me let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these up here for a second. I'm gonna re-upload them so we can have them back to back. And then I'm going to go on to the stream manager here and see Twitch chat. Okay, now I can see all of you. Yeah, if you if you bring them off planet, I guess, uh, or too far off planet, then they're not going to be able to levitate. They'll just they'll just fall to the ground. How sad! <laughs> all right, this means that the December mount. You remember the December mount, the Renga mount? That's going to get a, a peerless treatment too. So you know that will include something either it's going to be a mesh variant or it's going to be you know some kind of special emote for it that you don't get on core remember that peerless means that you peerless grade 
means it's a skin that comes with extras. That extra could be voice packs, that extra, depending on what it is. That extra could be mesh variants. That extra could be special shaders you can't get anywhere else. That, that uh, it also may mean, um, you know, um, all sorts of different aspects, basically. Anything special above and beyond simply just recoloring it. Uh, plus, also, you get to apply different shaders to stuff. Will you get an RGB snack? Uh, you can change the colors. I don't know. I don't know if it has chroma yet. Chroma might be something that I save as a as a unique thing, as a shader you can unlock with, that you get with packs, something like that. Because that's been kind of a, a a unique variant, right? Chroma integration's been kind of a unique thing. So. Uh, you know, we've released a couple of pets, so you can expect that all the pets that released so far will have peerless variants. Oh, you missed it, Mako. Well, I'm just gonna post it over and over again. These are large files, though, so. Um, basically, we're releasing a new perk for this month, and it the pets and this is a pet and the pets are it doesn't include the engineer skin that was from an earlier sub this is both a core grade and includes up to the peerless grade pets are getting an upgrade they will have customization similar to player skins so that they will have core artisan and peerless grades and for the duration of the stream i am keeping the monthly sub to one dollar for the initial month so if you like this pet and you would like to grab it for the duration of this stream which is only going to be an hour stream today uh you can get it for a buck and then after the stream i'm taking the coupon down yeah we're really trying to, to drive subs here uh they are so important to us so and the glowy version you see is actually see-through you can you'll be able to see the skeleton underneath Okay, so that's a very special pet. And you can get it for a buck. And later on, if it appears in the store, you know it's gonna be full price. So this is this is the incentive for the, the dollar program, obviously. Uh, and you can unlock these in game during certain times of years. Oh, I should mention this is legendary rarity. It's once a year, it's a Halloween one. This is our Halloween uh, perk so in the game during Halloween you could potentially grind for the core variant and then upgrade it to the peerless using resources yeah the every pet is now peerless so the Bupakuli is now a peerless grade although we have yet to determine what the perks are at the peerless version not everything gets the skeletal treatment <laughs> It's going to be a lot of polys for this one. So are you guys liking it? Did we do well on this pet? Awesome. Maybe on the on the giant frames on the on, on the the uh, the Titanfall size when it wraps around the arm or something. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll figure out some way to animate it. Problem is, it's a little big. I don't know if you'll fit through doorways. I'm just kidding. We'll figure out a way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people like pets. And, uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, Miss Amelia reminds me that we need a nickname for this. Snazzy snoring snoring snazzy soaring snack is the current proposal. I am turning to the community. Right now the skin just says pending. It is live now, by the way, I assume. Should be time, so you can go grab it right now. And it's it's just a buck for the duration of the stream. But we need a name. It just says pending right now. We couldn't come up with a name. So I am looking for the people on stream in the community to suggest a name if I like it I will choose it so try to be serious I mean the funny ones are great 
I like the funny ones, but throw in a serious one too. <laughs> oh, Zingo, what did you say? I missed it. Timothy. <laughs> and we shall call him Timothy. <laughs> Pendragon. Pendragon is not bad. Arthurian. Wendell. <laughs> Where's Wendell? <laughs> George. I shall call him George. <laughs> Rendragon. Tubby. Ouroboros. Will pets be active companions like Warframe or just Deco? They don't attack, if that's what you mean. I don't know what pets do in Warframe. Do they attack? When pets attack. DJ Snazzy Snack and the Funky Bunch. Ouroboros, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. How about a compound name? Two words stuck together. Any suggestions on that? Grim Dragon. Ooh, that's that's easy to pronounce and remember. How about getting their levitation ability in there somehow? You know, uh, I do like. Do you remember Tamagotchis? Mag Serpent. I like Mag Serpent. It's very sci-fi sounding. Hover noodles. <laughs> I suggested noodle of doom, but nobody liked it. <laughs> doom, <laughs> doom noodle. Oh no! Oh no! No deep striking with the doom noodle. No. <laughs> oh no! I didn't say that. <laughs> that was. <laughs> no, it's just I just I can't I can't unsee. Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and thus we Jeebus. doomed the pet. Jeebus suggested Pliskin. Uh, oh! Is See what that, did there. Is that copyright? <laughs> uh, if it would, I wouldn't know who because it was in the movie and then it was in the game. So the name Pliskin has been in two different places. Uh, you know, the escape from New York and then it was in, of course, Metal Gear. So, just a name. <laughs> Yeah, Tamagotchis, man. If you didn't feed them, the pet would die. Do you remember that? All the traumatized kids? A little portable thing you kept in your pocket. And you like, if you didn't remember to feed it or take care of it, it would just die permanently. Permadeath. You had to reset it. <laughs> Are you serious, miss? Do you still have one all this time? What happens when you change the batteries? What happens when you change the batteries? I, I need to know. It just reincarnates, okay. <laughs> Basilisk. Uh, we should bring Tamagotchis back, man. I think there could be a modern incarnation that's pretty cool. And not on your phone either. I think it's gotta be in its own form factor. A phone feels too ephemeral. Falcor Serpent. The never ending a grab naga oh, that's not bad I'm, I'm tending towards the sci-fi stuff to tell you the truth they are back they're at target oh great a whole new generation of kids can can learn the the pang of loss mag naga mag naga sounds like a uh, condiment like maggie seasoning Well, we're we're all we we need a name for the pet. It's, right now, it just says pending Zingo. When you go when you go on the store, then the monthly patron program. Hyper Viper. Mag Nuggets, Doom Noodles. We had Doom Noodle, Penning Noodle. Pliskin.
Can we combine Pliskin with something like uh, like Grav Pl Pliskin? That doesn't roll off the tongue though. <laughs> you like Hyper Viper, of course, Ghost Viper. Grimfang, Grimfang, the spicy danger noodle. I feel like Grimfang is taken somewhere in some other fantasy MMO. Alternate spelling, Chaz, Pliskin, Quasar Servant, ah, Helium Delirium, Warp Worm, oh, Warp Worm. Kind of cool. Terra Slither. Hmm. Warp Worm sounds a little 40k ish. Should we start a thread for it? No, I want to choose one now. I want to choose one now. And I think. Uh, Pendragon Pliskin. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Windy Gob? Grim Hex? That is taken. That's in Star Citizen. You're channeling Star Citizen right now. Grim Hex is the, uh, the unlawful station where anything happens. Hang Dragon, Leviathan. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna choose. Okay, I'm ready to choose. I think the the one that's gotten the most traction here is the is the reference. So it's gonna be Pliskin. Who came up with Pliskin? Who was the first to post that? Oh, we already have a scientific name for it. Ouroborean Le Le Leviathan. Who who came up with Pliskin? <clears throat> who knows? <laughs> I have to run a, a search through chat. <laughs> MGS Pliskin. <laughs> All right, Jeebus did. Jeebus, are you here? Jeebus. Come out and play. On the, when I searched for it, the first person says today, 1122, was Noxul. Noxul oh. did it? Oh, I link it. I linked it here. Well, that's the first person I see listed in the search, unless okay. unless somebody spelled it differently. That's the thing because it's a. Uh... And Pliskin was second. No, Noxville says it wasn't him. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking to see who spelled it because uh, depends on how it was spelled. Uh... Just search for the four first four letters. That oh well, no, that changed. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, exactly. That's from like, well, how did they spell it? <laughs> Dang it. All right. Give us a moment. <laughs> Let's talk. Let us talk about other matters while we sort this conundrum. So are you guys excited about applying the uh, grade system to pets? I think that'll be cool. Ah, uh, good. Oh, no. Okay, Darn says no. Darn's against it. All right, so, yeah, pets are purely cosmetic. We don't have any plans for them aside from being purely cosmetic. I'm toying with the idea of making them Tamagotchis to torture your psyche and give you busy work and, and then they die. <laughs> No, I'm not that mean. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, Giga, we had a question for you. Uh, we have some news to announce. Um, basically, our Discord, Faye. Faye, what's our Discord at now, our Discord membership? It is currently at 11,065 members. 11,065! Why can't it be 69? <laughs> 11,065. So uh, Giga pointed out that that was more than Ashes of Creation had going into their Kickstarter. But, so I mean, uh, Giga mentioned that last stream. But Giga, we had a question. Somebody said that they thought that they had a really big... Uh, Twitch following before they went into Kickstarter. Is that true? Do you know if they had a significant amount of um, Twitch uh, followers? Because that's odd to me because they didn't announce the game until Kickstarter. So how did they build an audience? Because, you know, we, we think that having an audience going to Kickstarter is super duper important because if there's an excited community, I mean, imagine that you're, you're going to back a Kickstarter, right? Oh, it was Jeebus. Okay. Well, we need to hear from Jeebus. I have a question. Jeebus is there. <laughs> Jeebus is always there. I, I believe in Jeebus. He is in my heart. Oh, 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 that Jeebus. Okay. M Maitre Jeebus? All right, Jeebus. You're French. We forgive you. Uh, Jeebus, uh, are you currently a backer? What what level backer are you? You're an Archon. It's uh, I've lost track. Is that an M3 or a newcomer one? That's okay. A newcomer. Uh, you're getting an upgrade for that name. We're bumping you up one pack. So send Ronan your Ember ID. Yeah, I guess I guess is Shifter next after Archon. Yes. Awesome. All right, thank you for that copyright violating name. We will of course downgrade your pack if we get sued. <laughs> Just and you are kidding. financially liable for any settlement we will reach. Exactly. <laughs> uh, quick upgrade your account before you send your details. If you want to do that, you can. <laughs> but you better act quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, huh. Emily, go ahead and, and let's name the skin and um, you know let's let's name it the actual thing. Let's let's the actual spelling. Oh, did you guys miss the skin reveal? Okay, for those of you who are late to chat, it's in the latest announcement channel. Yeah, but it's so much fun to post again. Don't don't deny <laughs> don't deny me my fun. <laughs> oh, this is this is what I live for. This is my, you know, Zingo. I six to nine streams ago, somewhere in there, some somewhere in that six to nine. <laughs> so what you want is you really want to combine this with the Snack Lady skin. Then then you've got the the perfect accoutrement. So this is the pet that's released. It's a dollar for the duration of the stream, which is going to be a short stream today. It's going to end at noon. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, you can hop on over. Moderators will post the link. And we also talked about how the pets are getting uh, the cosmetic, same cosmetic system as players. So they'll, they will have core, they will have artisan grade, and they will have peerless grade. And peerless grade on Pliskin here means you can see its skeletal insides very spooky spooky Halloween it is legendary rarity which means it's only once a year uh, no the, the pets included with the monthly Amni so if you if you are a monthly sub you are getting this peerless grade pet automagically but will they have belly rubs 
You know, there's a there's a can you pet the dog in this game account on Twitter. Why isn't there a belly rub one? No, it's a good question, Omni. I'm glad you asked it. A lot of people are, are probably asking about that. And for those of you who missed the tiny lore drop about it, I will read it again. <clears throat> Recovered from trace elements of frozen ember DNA during ecological resurrection surveys, known to bond only to a single user through a bite ritual, some extremely rare variants have translucent skin and visible skeletal structures beneath. The source of their levitation appears to be both a charged atmospheric phenomenon as well as the creature's ability to harness and ride the planet's magnetic fields. Yep, and and we and the community named it Pliskin, and Jeebus came up with the name, and he's responsible for any damages in a lawsuit. <laughs> it's short. It's short. It's not that long. We have another version that's that's over three hundred words long. No, we're not getting sued. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's any danger. I think we're fine. He wasn't the snake anyways. I mean, only in name. The Pliskin Noodle. <laughs> I can always count on the community to go straight to the gutter. <laughs> you guys, you guys are like old faithful. Would that be the solid or the liquid snake? <laughs> snake! Snake! <laughs> Actually, that should be its 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 uh its its ritual call. <laughs> Just <laughs> snake! Snake! I had fun with this pet. I, I hope you guys like it. Um, we have fun coming up with creatures. They're not the most popular thing to drive subscriptions, but I think, which is weird because pets in other games are super popular. So I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I The waifu are just too powerful, I guess. Uh, I have not played Ken of Bridge of Spirit. It sounds like it's amazing if it's done by animation artists. I guess the real question I have is, uh, isn't the, um, so back to Star Citizen. <laughs> we were talking about Ashes of Creation and how they built their community beforehand. And we currently have over 11,000 Discord members, which is a new high for us. Uh, so we're doing uh, very well on that, which is more than what Ashes of Creation had going into the Kickstarter. And I'm wondering, I asked Giga if he knew if the Twitch community was large for Ashes of Creation before they went into Kickstarter. And if so, how? Because what? What? how did they build that? What did they have to show? Because they didn't, as far as I know, they didn't really announce the game until Kickstarter. The you, yeah the uh, the character is n the the character skin is not part of it, and that's the engineer skin. Thank you very much. It's nothing to do with dolls. Did did they have a good reveal video? I don't think they had a good reveal video. They had exciting features that they announced: territory control, city building. You know, that's all stuff that Ember has. The bases are effectively cities, right? Except ours isn't PvP based, ours is PvE based. Oh, you confused Ashes of Creation with Ashes of the Singularity. Okay. So they didn't, so Carnage, they didn't have a Twitch following then? We, we have, how many do we have on Twitch? I think we've got. 
6700 something like that let me see yeah uh, no no we have nine sorry <laughs> we have 9700 so if you're not following us on twitch yet please do so the other thing that I, I mean to do is as we ramp up the marketing I need to get a Facebook account for Ember I need to get a the Instagram going and I refuse to do it on my main main devices because of all the data harvesting they do so I'm gonna go find a used Chromebook for Facebook or something like that and maybe an old phone that doesn't have a cellular plan just activate it on Wi-Fi for things like Instagram Which one, was Ash Which one was Ashes of Creation? I, I heard a name. But, I, but what what game was that? Ashes of Creation is the MMO that features, the territory control stuff. I, I predict it's going to do very well because it's kind of like New is, World. Is it released or? No, it's in it's oh. in development. And they had a, a they had a Gangbusters Kickstarter. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're uh, we're we're pivoting on the message. You know, we haven't we we went waifu heavy waifu for a while, and we're pivoting now on the message. That there'll be a new website and everything. MMO bike covered ashes of creation. Most most game outlets won't cover me because I'm so anti mainstream game journalism. But uh, oh, MMO Bytes is a that's YouTuber. That's on popularity. MMO Bytes a YouTuber. He'll he'll cover us because he likes he likes waifu. He covers uh, he gets so excited about every single waifu game that comes out. Everyone, including like League of Maidens. So once we show, you know, that we're an MMO type game. He's probably gonna. He's probably gonna cover us. <laughs> Verpicelli uses dash attack. Blisk can dodge his attack. That's great, Chaz. Uh, Winter on Twitch says AOC had a 750k goal with 30-day Kickstarter, ended up with 19.5k backers, earning 3.2 million, which is one of the biggest. What did they realistically like? Did they they didn't have like a demo or anything like that, right? They, they had a movie. They had a mm. movie. The movie's super important. And, and you yeah. know what? The pitch was good. The pitch is what people want in MMOs now. This is why I believe that New World's pitch works so well, right? Because it's different from... Remember I, how I said, don't copy WoW, change the meta? People are ready for a different meta. And I think uh, one reason why New World's so popular is because it chose the RuneScape meta, right? You can go crafting. You can level through crafting. Uh, and there's, you know... There's, there's territory control there as well. That seems to be really popular. Ashes of Creation, also territory control and city building. So those are, uh, but those are fantasy. So we could be the first sci-fi game to emphasize those aspects. Uh, we've, we've been talking about it even before Ashes of Creation. So, you know, it's, it's definitely our thing. So I think that that's going to be good. I think that's good for us. Yeah, people don't want cookie cutter stuff. Change the meta, total, and it's working. It, it's a, it, it's totally working for New World. People are like, oh no, New World lost half their players. It's like, well, yeah, any MMO is gonna lose about that, even if they're really good, right? And gee, they went from one million to five hundred thousand concurrent, which is still probably more than what WoW is playing right now. <laughs> so bad. Oh no. Uh, default, I don't know, Lao for guy. I refuse to play New World because I don't want to fry a GPU until we understand more about what, why GPUs are frying. 
I can't risk losing a work GPU to a game. So, you know, I, I've heard about the deflation in Horizon. Uh, people have been going to a barter system because gold coins simply aren't worth it anymore. But a barter system in a crafting-based game, to me, can be an interesting thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing in a crafting-oriented game, but it could be horribly broken, too. I wouldn't know. I haven't been playing. Yeah, it's too risky to play on RTXs, so uh, I guess I could play it on the AMD machine. We have, we have one AMD machine here and one NVIDIA machine. It's not frying AMD cards, right? I like Planetside 2, and there's been some massive updates. Zingo's been mentioning it. You've been mentioning it. Uh, Cayman Joestar. Cayman Joestar. It's not frying AMD cards yet. If it, if it hasn't fried an AMD card by now, it's not, it's not going to fry one. I mean, if it is anything, it's, it's the high FPS nature of some applications like launcher generate, right? If it just uh, renders out 1,000 frames per second. And that's actually then... that's actually up for debate. I've been watching, uh, there's an overclocker I follow, a really hardcore overclocker I follow on YouTube, right? And I forget his name. I think his name is actually the the hardcore overclocker. He He's an electrical engineer, right? So he he's... He literally will tear car uh, cards down, uh, go through their power stages. He will modify power stages. He will critique power stages of different PCB layouts of the manufacturers. And he he regularly places you know top top three overclockers, and um, and even he's not sure what's causing it. But it's actually you know actually hardcore overclocking. Thank you. That's that's the guy. If you want to know, I'm waiting for his answer, his definitive answer on what's causing the problem. Billzoid, yes, that's his nickname, Billzoid. And he's fascinating because he's obviously an electrical engineer of some sort, and he is so familiar with this stuff. And that's the guy I've decided to trust on when this is fixed or not. Oh, he said what's wrong with it? What did he say was, what was, it was power management issue and underestimation of power spikes that fries the NVIDIA GPU. So it's the power stage that's failing. A 3080 can shut down an uh, 850. So I guess that, that could be loosely frame rate related, right? Because you'll draw more power, but I guess. I don't know if you're drawing more power on a menu screen. Um, yeah, well, yes, if, if you have uncapped frame rate, then it goes as much as it can give. Okay. And, you know. But I thought they capped it in the patch uh well they sh probably should have i mean i you generally run a global frame rate cap I, I i never let anything run more than you know my refresh rate window okay well i'll i'll be safe and i'll i'll only do it on the amd because i i haven't seen an amd card fry but i should check it out because um uh, you know, deflation is a very rare phenomenon in MMOs. So it'd be very interesting to study that. It's probably something to do with fixed prices. I mean, with, with the, when you have an economy like that, you, you, you always sort of operate in a uh, sort of artificial environment, wherein, for example, prices of vendors are always the same. You know, it's, it's like a sort of simulation of a government price fixing situation happening, right? But that, that's that's magically not dependent on the, it has infinite supply, right? So it's that's it's, not it's a very what I abstract heard is causing this core issue with New World, though. I, I, I wasn't sure. I'm just just saying some of these like sort of world, uh, MMO economic situations. They they always have these some kind of uh, wacky abstract uh, infinite supply things. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you, Zingo. Yeah, MMO economies have a lot of edge cases. They're hard. They're hard to get right, and then and they're hard because, to deal because with. the 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 problem is there that repair costs are too high, right? It is like the price of the coin or price of the money went is is so high that it uh, it basically makes cost of doing like uh, PvP or something like that prohibitive because you have to repair. 
don't know. Yeah, something like that. So, so basically, the situation wherein the repair cost is basically fixed, and it doesn't adjust with the economy. So, so there's your problem. Interesting. Has uh, Josh Strife Hayes posted a video about deflation in, in New World yet? I, I find his analysis usually pretty good. That would be the TLDR for me. Well, oh, 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 speaking of Ember on 250 builds. Remember I said in the video that I was not guaranteeing Ember would run on a $250, $250 build because we need to add so much to the game. Uh, but I do need to build a low spec system and I am looking for anybody with a specifically a NVIDIA 1060 3 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte card that is willing to part with it at actual non scalper values or uh, for trade for a pack or for a combination of you know cash and pack or something like that. Um, because I don't want to like spend a lot on building a test system and I don't know what a max Q version is is that an overclock 1060 I need stock uh, no because we're probably not going to by the time we release I don't think we're supporting um, that gen card 970s and such I think 1060 is gonna be our low end I don't know We'll see. I have a 970 already, so I can try it on that too. Yeah, yeah the, the, the 1060 has to be working, Bakasura. <laughs> That's an important caveat. No, 1050 ZTIs are, are faster. I'm going for what's on the Steam surveys. The, the most popular card is a 1060. And there are two variants. There's a 3 gigabyte VRAM and a 6 gigabyte VRAM variant. So if you have one, uh, you know, DM me and um, you know maybe we can make a deal that type of thing but I mean worst case we'll go out we'll pay we'll pay market value for it but maybe we don't have to maybe there's something we can do uh, deal wise here because I have to build that system because the the GPU stuff is I don't think is going to get any better for at least another year and the new Nvidia cards that are coming out When's their window? Is it supposed to be February, March now? Or January, February? That the 4000 series is supposed to launch? I haven't heard anything. I don't know if they've, if they've even announced it. There's a lot of speculation that they're, they're ready to Q4 of next year. That would, be, that would be nuts. I don't think it's Q4. Unless they really stretch out Ampere. I guess I could ask them. We are under NDA with them, but yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably send an email. <laughs> well, anyways, but they're not going to tell me pricing, right? And the rumor is that because all MSRPs of cards now match the prior scalper prices, that's literally, they literally, all the AIBs raise their MSRPs to scalper prices. Uh, what's gonna the rumor is that the 4000 series is going to launch at inflated prices so but we don't know there's a lot that could happen with Intel's cards the arc cards coming out and stuff if there's if there's competition we'll see but if there's you know and, and you can get 6000 series cards from AMD now but they're they're pricey so anyways all of this means that we need to run on older hardware And then if somehow prices fall and everyone leaps forward two generations, then, you know, that, that'd be great. But right now it's looking pretty grim. <laughs> well, the $250 build did use an APU. An APU running at 720p is very acceptable for gaming, I found. It's, it's quite doable. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be a thousand plus for forty eighty. It's going to be friggin' two grand. 
That's what I'm guessing. Unless you get it as part of a system. And I tell you guys, I you know, yeah. I, you've heard me say it before, but I, I actually ask AMD and NVIDIA, I'll be like, hey, are, you know, can we buy a card directly from you? And they're just like, your best bet is to buy a computer with a card in it. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I mean, for those of you looking to upgrade, your best bet's to buy a PC. Buy a PC with the card you want in it. Then you the, the prices are still inflated, but they're not as inflated. Atrion, what, what GPU do you have in your nine-year-old PC? Curious about that. Yeah, people are getting, people are actually buying computers and then selling the cards in them. That's how ridiculous things are now. <clears throat> Redonkulous. I love that word. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> you can expect us to be paying attention to frame rates. That's why I want to build a 1060 system and if anyone has a 1060 they're willing to part with for a pack or combination of pack and cash price that isn't astronomical uh please send me a dm oh good you got through a custom builder yeah there's ways to do it All right, we are we are coming up on an hour, and this is going to be a short chief chat, right? I was just going to do the skin. So one more time, I will talk about how we are doing the same customization system for pets as we do player skins. And there will be core grades all the way upgradable to a uh, peerless grade included. Chaz, that's funny. Um, and you can get this for a dollar. For the next 15 minutes after stream ends, I'll keep the coupon up. That's that's our thank you for people attending the chat. And the peerless version is transparent with a visible skeletal structure underneath. That's that's the, the peerless main thing. And that's up there right now. You can take advantage of it. And we are going to be back next week. I'm going to go handle some stuff. There's some stuff I need to, I need to get stuff to riggers. We have stuff to animate, stuff to rig. So I'm going to keep it short for today. Are we doing the transfer to monthly? Uh, nobody. What do you mean the uh, the? We don't have the code to do that yet. We're working on it. We're actually revamping the the subscription system so that you can switch from a without waiting to a yearly sub so we're going to be doing that uh, as the next web update if that answers your question or if you want if you really want to do it today I can manually clear it if you send me a DM but that's that's a pain in the butt so um, to manually clear it and then to let you resub I advise you just just be patient for now oh yeah if you've got a 1060 just send me a DM I appreciate it looking for both the six gigabyte and the three gigabyte variants All right, everybody, thank you very much for another successful Chief Chat. Like I said, I'm going to end it early today. We will see you again next week. I will leave the dollar sub up for another 15 minutes after we end the stream. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can. And again, I don't advertise this. This is just a thank you for you guys coming on stream. And also, you know, we had a delay in getting the art out this time. And thank you very much for the name. Jeebus Pliskin is the name of the pet. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. 
I will be checking my DMs here, um, and we will see you again next week. All right. Bye, everybody.